Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, episode number 387, Lasers, Light Treatments That Reverse the Signs of Aging, Melt Fat, and Tighten Your Skin. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about positive aging. Your hosts are Dr. Kathy Moffin, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging, and Brett Newcomb, a licensed professional counselor. Dr. Maupin and Brett are the authors of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about hormone replacement therapy for women, which is available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. In my lifetime, science has developed a, a tool called lasers that are phenomenal and they're used in so many different domains. The military uses lasers for uh, weaponry and defense against weaponry. Uh, doctors use labor lasers for surgery, uh, for various kinds of physiological treatments that are, to me, as a, as a layman, mind-boggling. And what I am now learning in working with Dr. Maupin's office, uh, Biobalance Skin, that lasers are are able to be fine-tuned and used in such a way that they can help combat the signs of aging. They can they can deal with uh, sunspots. They can deal with blemishes. They can deal with uh, port wine stains. They can deal with wrinkles. tattoos, wrinkles, hair, uh, hair growth. And this is a phenomenal f- fat. <laughs> uh, it's just really the science of this is fascinating to me. And it's amazing what they can do with these different machines. Now, they're expensive machines, and there's a variety of different kinds of lasers. You have to uh, protect your eyes when you're getting a laser uh, treatment. You have to have a specialist that knows what they're doing, not somebody just comes in, turns the machine on, and says, yeah, let, let me burn that off your nose. Uh, so <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's an art and a science as well as it just like is. how therapy is. But... First, you have to know how to use the machine, but more importantly, for taking care of patients, you have to know how to fix what they want fixed. So what laser do you use, and right. and uh, how often do you have to do the treatment, and uh, what level of intensity do you need to actually get the outcome they're looking for? Level of intensity means the burn of the laser? It's not always burning. Sometimes lasers, lasers can, can burn, but most of the time, They are honing in on a certain pigment in your skin, like brown spots. They they actually concentrate on the brown spot that is below the the surface of your skin and is damaged. It can tell that it is damaged and it that does kill those cells. So it so it penetrates the skin mm -hmm. down to the depth of wherever the brown spot is. But above but but it is above your pigment layer that gives you tan. So you are not, okay. where, where you have your brown spots removed, you don't have white. Big left. white spot, yeah. So they have fine tuned this enough so That's that amazing. it just finds those brown spots. And that has to do with the um, length of the light, you know, lights and waves. So the length of the white, of the light. So we basically have, for brown spots, we have three different heads that we use to get different depths of the skin if the brown spot's closer to the surface. <laughs> How entrenched and level. resistant it is, right. yeah. So, so th- this is something that we need to know when someone comes in and says, I've got these brown spots on my face, they make me look old, or I have melasma on my face, uh, and they, um, I've had that since I had my pregnancy, the brown spots are a brown cheek, and can you get rid of this? And so that's one of the lasers we use. But we have lots of choices for our lasers, and one of the things that we like to say about the brown spots is you have two bananas, one's beautiful and yellow, and the other one has all the brown spots on it. Mm-hmm. Which one do you want to eat? Well, the one that's fresh, the the yellow one. So that's a sign of aging. It's oxid- It looks like oxidation on the banana, but that's how we kind of look at people who have all the brown spots. They're not freckles. We look at them and we go, ooh, old so i have some friends who are older than i am 
who have like brown spots on their their hands, back of their hands mm-hmm. and stuff that we used to call liver spots. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know they're the, not liver spots, why they're called they're, that. I mean, they're, just, that's they're what they're sun damaged spots. Usually, you get brown spots where you have been sun damaged, and if you're if you worked outside from the when 1970s you were young and, and you used iodine and baby oil, you probably have them all over your body. So, wow. so you not not. They're not collated into one big brown area. They're just I done a baby oil to tan, to, to sit tan, out in the sun. To sit out in the sun for hours on okay. end. Yeah. yeah, we did that to ourselves. So that that um, actually gave me brown spots a lot earlier than I should have had brown spots. I had them in my 40s and had them So the as a child, I grew up in the, in the 50s and 60s mm-hmm. in the South. And when school was out, I mean, they cut off our blue jeans and we had shorts and that was, that was it. it. We didn't right. wear shoes. We didn't wear right. socks. Didn't we didn't wear shirts. And we were out in the sun all day long with no right. sunscreen, no protection, no hat, no mm-hmm. anything. And so that puts you at risk for these brown spots, which then can become precancerous, which then can become a type Deadly. of cancer. But not, yeah. not melanoma type cancers usually. They're usually a different type, but they're still, they still can change and become cancer. So getting the brown spots off of you is not but, just cosmetic. But it can make me look mottled and old. Right. But yeah, it's co- that would be a cosmetic reason, but it's right. preventing you from getting one of those spots from from becoming abnormal. But I had them all over my hands, and I don't have them anymore. So I mean, they were they were lasered with a IPL laser. If you're the if you're the patient that wants this done, you don't shouldn't have to go in and know the name of the laser you need. You should be able to say, I need my brown spots removed. How many treatments am I going to need? And and how long will it take? And and how many days off work do I need? Because that that type of laser is one that has some downtime. It gives you very intense brown black spots. Those spots become worse, and they come to the surface and peel off. So you have to have two or three days. Where or you look like somebody not, beat you up. Well, it's not purple or brown. It's black. It looks like you have a disease. Ooh. You know, the brown spots become black and they and they become more obvious. So you tell people this before they yeah. get to I would hope so. You have to have, yeah, well, we do. Yeah. Because you have to have some days off work or you have to say, I, I'll go to work anyway. I'll just look like that. doesn't matter. I'll just tell people I had a treatment. Yeah. And, and so we do that all the time. And we do spots everywhere. It's not so, just so your face and hands. Let me ask you a layman's question about it. Mm-hmm. Is the degree of that outcome a factor of the laser and the treatment that you're getting or is it a factor of the skill of the technician or both well the technician has to know our stuff i mean our technicians are trained and then i watch them test them all of that so i know what they're doing right so you can't just go to some place that has just people people wielding lasers who (laughs) have laser will treat any training you know so um, and when we get new lasers, we have the company come in and, and train us on the new equipment. Mm-hmm. So yes, there's there's skill to to the esthetician, but there also is the laser itself is important. And mm-hmm. lasers are come out with new new things every year. So so um, if I'm looking at a laser rejuvenation procedure or treatment for myself, mm-hmm. you know, I, I have uh, the reason I grew a beard. Is because I have a double chin. It just hangs down here. So I've now come to understand that that's treatable with lasers, Mm -hmm. that they can tighten that up. Yes. So Uh, so you come in and you say, I have a double chin. I want to have something done for that. Not surgery. No. No, so no, none of no us. No slicing and dicing. Do like you don't that. do anything like that. So, um, so you have a couple choices. Uh-huh. One is Kybella, which is a, is not a laser. It is a, um, an injection of a fat dissolver, basically, which dissolves the double chin and makes it kind of tighten up. Huh. Now, that's one thing. It's a little painful. It takes two or three treatments. It's more expensive than laser. Well, but I'm a sissy. Okay, so, so for you, the sissy, so you would need skin tightening, which is we have a head on the laser called the skin tightening laser, and it uses heat and, well, heat and radio waves and laser, and it tightens the skin under your neck. In fact, I had that done a few weeks ago to accent your the, jawline. my jawline because 
that was one thing I was going to talk about. That's one of the ways we can look across the room and tell somebody's young because they have a jawline. Mm. And their jawline... It, it hasn't got all puffy and no, round. it hasn't gotten yeah. round. It hasn't drooped. Right. But the, the jawline is more distinct. That's how we can see somebody and think that they're 30, 40, 50. So if my double so. chin gets worse, will my beard have to get longer? I think that's why you have the beard cut like you do, right? <laughs> yes, it's it is, actually. It's an illusion. Yeah, yeah. But, but you can have this done, yeah. and it would tighten up your it would tighten up your chin and dissolve the... The fat underneath it, and huh. we can do that. And how long does that last? It lasts a long time. I mean, you usually need three. I mean, everybody's a little different, yeah, but yeah. you usually need three treatments, and then maybe once a year you need one treatment just to kind of get rid of the gravity. <laughs> but but it's like gravity, a, almost everything else that your office year. does. It, it's not a one size fits all no, treatment. Everybody's a little. You different. have to. So, so we would use the skin tightening. On you, I'd use skin tightening, and then I'd use a Q-switch laser, which I call <laughs> the uh, staple gun. It doesn't hurt, and it doesn't leave any any notion. You can't even tell that you've had it done, except everything's tight. So you can just go, tight, 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 and the esthetician pushes your skin up against gravity, and it helps hold everything up. So I would use that here to keep everything up underneath your chin. So first we'd tighten the skin, then we'd staple it. That's I'm, not what we really do. But uh, I'm just a gog with amazement. But, I mean, you just but, pull, like pull yeah, the skin up I like a plastic yeah, surgeon next time, would. Next time you're and, in, we'll do that. You can enjoy it. So I want <laughs> the other thing you need to know, because no, people go, I don't know what I need. I just need to, to yeah. look younger. So what I've done is, so you'll be shown a picture of Katherine Hepburn at age 30, 50, and 60. Yeah. So if you look at her 30-year-old picture, it's perfect. She has no lines. She has um, cheekbones. She has, she has no sag to her eyelids, no sag to her chin. Her chin is very well-defined. Her neck is smooth. She doesn't have brown spots. She, yes, she has makeup on, but, and her lips are full, and, she has, and her skin is tight. Yeah. That's young. That's what we're looking for. So, so when you're doing this, you can look at the same things on your own face with a mirror unless you're driving. So um, in her 50s, on the next picture, you see that she has a high neck. And for the rest of her life after her 50s, she wore a high neck because she had a loose neck. She had all kinds of skin down here. So she didn't have a nice tight neck. So she hid it. Sort of waddles and wrinkly. Yeah. Bottles and wrinkles and, yeah. and just loose skin. So, so if I brought in a picture of myself when I was 40. That's what I want people to do. Whenever really? they thought they looked the best. Uh -huh. That's what I want you to do is bring a picture of when you were 35 or 40, not 18, because your face wasn't fully formed then. We can't change the bones. So so we need a, a mature in your 20s at the very lowest or very youngest to compare to what you look like today. Huh. So that that's helpful. So, um, but I but knowing what aging, I mean, we all know someone looks old. We don't know what it is exactly that makes them look old. So Catherine Hepburn also had her eyes started like her yeah, lit, drooping. Her, this skin up here started drooping over her eyelids at that time. Yeah. She also looked skinnier, like she lost the fat in her cheeks. Now that's not helped by laser. We do filler for that, but we do laser first to tighten all the skin and tighten the neck. She also has a lot of um, smile marks. Laser, and we can laser those. But as as we, if you smile a lot, you're still going to have marks. Stretch your skin yeah. back out. Yeah, yeah you still have, get little creases. So so that's what she looked like in her fifties. But at at sixty, she still looked beautiful because she was beautiful. Beautiful people when they're young look beautiful when they're old if they take care of themselves. But they didn't have lasers then. And she, if you look closely, she has brown spots everywhere. I mean, a lot of skin damage because she had red hair, and that makes you much more likely to have sun damage early. And she had it early, and it continued. And then she has, like, this is all kind of falling down. Yeah. So she has gravity has taken place. Her lips are thinner. So and, and everything is sagging down, and she doesn't have the nice cheeks she used to have. She doesn't have the smoothness. Basically, that's we can give you that back with laser. So, you just have to plan it one step at a time, 
one and, and what we do is give you the benefit of several lasers at the same time like you don't have to come in one time for an appointment and get a Q switch like you would at someplace else that that does the stapling and then next week you get the IPL and the next week you get something else or you can have laser done all over your body you don't just have to have it on your face you just have to schedule it appropriately because we we don't charge for each thing we charge by the time spent so if your appointments an hour and you get eight things done great we're happy with that so if i'm here suit and i want to have a better look in my bikini can i have that hair burned away so that i don't have to shave does a laser yeah. do that yeah. Yeah, you you can't you can't do that with white hair. Okay. You can, you have to have because <laughs> it's too late like for me. Yeah. So the laser has to hone in. Well, I didn't think you were going to wear a bikini either, but I, the laser has to hone in on a difference in color between the skin and the hair. But, but the reason I raised that question, you were talking about if you schedule an hour of the technician's time and access to different lasers, mm -hmm. you could work on different parts of the body in that treatment session that's, that's true when and that's do, that's a better pricing do, yeah it is when we do laser of the of hair it's a different price than laser of everything else uh -huh. just because the the laser believe it or not lasers wear out yeah and you only get so many pulses so that laser head isn't as expensive as the others yeah so that's at a lower price so oh, okay. but you can get multiple areas um, lasered for hair removal so you come in a the first time that you decide, okay, you know, I'm interested in this. I want to go and talk to somebody about it. Mm -hmm. And you meet with the esthetician who's going to do the work mm -hmm. and you draw up a plan. And she starts mm -hmm. with something called a Visio machine. Right. Oh, the Vizio, my wife was telling me yeah, about this. Yes. Yeah, when we had our open house, she was, she was running the Visio machine. Yeah. So the Visio helps us find out how much damage and what kind of damage you have. So the Visio machine takes a picture of you. You put your head into this machine it takes a picture and it looks at six different right six six different areas so pore size wrinkles brown spots um let's see what oh texture and there's one other and they give you a grade for each thing like are you at your age or are you higher than your age are you worse than everybody else mm -hmm. are you better than everybody else and so we have a we have a um, measurement that is not subjective that we can go back to and then after you've had your treatments we can take another picture and show you the difference under your skin so it is measurable right instead of just going oh yeah you look better so so you keep those we keep those printouts or records mm -hmm. or digital the, files whatever they chart. are uh -huh. So that we can look at them when we're finished. You have to come in several weeks after your last treatment when you're healed right. to that or whatever. You've become, actually, usually it's about a month when you are normalized and then and then do the test again uh -huh. so that you can check both of those. But, but that's a really good way for us to show you what has been done because oftentimes we look at our face all day and we can't tell that the change has happened. Yeah, well... It's it's like in psychology they talk about something called sensory adaptation. You know, like adjusting to cold or, mm -hmm. or heat. And when your sense is uh, sensors, hot, cold, touch, pain, are exposed to constant stimulation, mm -hmm. they reset to zero. So when you first touch something, you feel it. But after a while, you don't like you don't feel your socks on your feet or your watch on your wrist, mm -hmm. unless something calls it to your attention, right. which is usually a re adjustment that's how the body works yeah so the same thing happens when you look at your face you just normalize it that's what it is and you don't mm -hmm. see those changes unless you have a way to, to to measure those changes right and and you have to have somebody explain to you like which thing to do first like mm -hmm. if you're you know should we tighten your skin up first or should we do the brown spots well I, I like to do the one thing that's going to make the biggest difference right away and that's brown, brown spots, if they're obvious, are really, and your face looks really different when it's all smoothed out and the brown spots are gone. So if I'm going to my daughter's wedding in April, it's probably you already too started. late. I should have started. It's the end <laughs> so, of February yeah, now. Yeah, February. So you should have started probably in January. But there are some things we can still do. Q-Switch doesn't 
do anything except tack up your you face, up. Uh-huh. you can do that. You can get rid of, um, if you have facial hair, you can get rid of that if it's not white. You can tighten your neck. That's immediate. Yeah. You know, and it doesn't leave any, you know, because there's lots of things you have to do when you're- What if I'm one of those mothers skin. that wants to be prettier than the bride? And I want to fit into a, a size four. Okay. Well, then- you would schedule things for your face. At the same time, you're scheduling the eye lipo, which is the the fat removal. Like if you're if you want your waistline back or you want your arms to be tighter and thinner, then you use the the eye lipo on those areas. So that, and it dissolves your fat. And it lasts for. And, and it lasts unless unless you it's unless you like go crazy, eat, drink, and be merry too much. Right. You'll gain weight back there just like you would if it was uh, liposuction. You can still gain weight after liposuction if you overeat or overdrink. But it's like losing all the weight you want to lose in the places you want to lose it. So you have really lasers fast. that burn around your abdomen. It's not, not burning. Not burning, sorry. Dissolving. I, it, <laughs> it are, doesn't even hurt. And what they do is go under the skin and liquefy the, the, the fat. fat. Mm-hmm. And then your blood circulation. And, and So when you get out off of the laser table mm-hmm. you go work out you work out in our office so so you have the treatment then to get your blood flow to, well you have the treatment to dissolve the, the to dissolve the fat then uh you go to our uh exercise machines right and you actually work out for half an hour to 45 minutes to move that fat that you just we just dissolved into your lymph system that goes into your intestines and you poop it out. So, over the so if you don't days, go work out, you sort of lose the effect of that? You lose some of it. I mean, some people can do it without working out, but not many, and okay. I don't suggest it. So that's why we have the machines in our office. Right. So that you are They're more likely to, more do, it right likely then. to yes. do that. We also, with our um, eight treatments of eye lipo is usually what it takes to mm-hmm. get get down quite several inches in the areas that you want want to get down usually waistline usually belly fat so we give you a free weight loss consult and pers- we prescribe medication for that for short term weight loss so you have a free weight loss consult going over your food and your exercise then also medication that helps you lose weight faster, plus the iLipo machine doing eight treatments there, two to three a week, and, and exercise afterwards. And that's a great recipe for getting down to the size you want to get down to. But the mothers who are doing this before the wedding should start six months ahead, just in case they need to do a couple sessions. And they're going to, be, they're going to have to have their dress taken in each time. Yeah. So they're going to have to have, go to the dressmaker and have, have those their dress adjustments. Taken. Yeah, yeah, because their dress would already be. I've already done this, so the yeah. dress would already be chosen and and ready. And then you lose weight, so you have to have it taken in. So, so it, you have to count it's that. really important that you make a plan. Yeah. For what you're trying to accomplish and why you're trying to mm-hmm. accomplish it. But you also then have to stop and think about exercise and and consumption and, and uh, yeah drinking and things like that and what you're going to do. Um, but I I mean I don't run marathons. I would never be able to lose that kind of weight that fast. If I ran yeah. a marathon, I could lose that kind of fat. But so, most people just lose it all over, and I don't want to lose my chest. So does and I don't it hurt? Lose my, my face? No, it doesn't hurt, and it doesn't hurt any of your tissues like some of the other fat freezers or or heaters or dissolvers that yeah. can hurt the rest of your uh, of your organs. So this doesn't do that. All right. It's it's a great alternative to the slow process of dieting, and you can lose the fat in your in the area you don't want fat in. So you have a lot of different types of la- you have several different types of lasers, each of which have several different heads that do what you need. Mm-hmm. You can come in and consult with the medical director or with the technician mm-hmm. to say, what do you have for me that would help me accomplish this goal? Mm-hmm. How long will that take? When do we plan it? And then they, you can buy it. And mm-hmm. it often takes multiple repetitions mm-hmm. over days or weeks of time mm-hmm. because it allows for downtime. Downtime, and you have to your your collagen has to be stimulated. It has to recover in between treatments. So all that'll be explained to mm-hmm. you. 
And, and we will put the slides up behind us as we're talking so that you can see these and stop them and look at them. But if you have access to it on the web, you can also look at uh, the article that accompanies this. We'll post those slides uh, so that you can see that and read it for those of you that are different kinds of learners. We have before and after pictures of using the different, some of the different lasers like the skin tightening laser for uh, a face. A pixel, which we didn't talk about, which is the, the strongest type of skin tightening. Uh, brown spots, the IPL laser, and, the, and uh, the neck tightening. So if you're interested, call one of the technicians at, or the estheticians at Biobalance Skin and come in and see what you can do. See our new office. Yeah, see our new offices. And our, and our new location, which is just right next door to our old location. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth. Find Brett Newcomb at brettnewcomb.com.